Glück auf meine Leute. Uh, welcome back to Shock America. On this episode, we're going to talk about the new signing, Lee Dong Jong, and get on to analysis of him. Uh, Sam, you there? Yes, I'm the brains of this operation. Of course, I'm here. You are certainly not doing this on your own. Please pull up all relevant information on the new man, Lee Dong Jong. Lee Dong Jong is a South Korean footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder. He stands 5 foot 9 inches and weighs 150 pounds. Last season, he recorded 6 goals and 3 assists in 28 matches for Elson Hyundai. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about his defending, his dribbling, his vision, and shooting, and what it brings for Schalke. Let's get into it. Lee Dong Jong. He's a player who's good at reading the ball carry and beating him to the move to intercept the ball before they can. One of his strengths is muscling guys off the ball and holding on to possession. Very key attribute, especially in the Bundesliga and Zweite Liga. Moving over to dribbling, he has the ability to get out of high pressure situations and beating the press. Teams often try to double and triple defend him, and he has a really good ability to beat the multiple defenders, and get out of a jam, and pass to another teammate and keep the play moving. A very big strength of, of Lee Dong Jong is he can change direction very quickly to get out of a jam and to evade defenders. He has a very great first touch and can set himself up for a positive situation whether it be assist or goal with that first touch off the ball he's a very intelligent player making runs into open spaces to free himself up for the pass from his teammates Lee Dong Jong is what you would call a technical improvisational player. Very good skill set on the ball, but also is very fluid and can move to where he needs to to evade defenders and get open. Anything to keep the play going, keep it from being stagnant. He is very good at that with good, very good technical ability. Looking at his vision, he has the ability to read teammates' runs and hit them in stride. At times, it may look like he's not looking, but he can find his teammates without them losing pace so that they can get the best scoring opportunity possible. He has the very good ability to use misdirection to throw off defenses to not telegraph his passes. This often leaves defenses perplexed at which way he is intending to go. Speaking of vision, Lee Dong Jong is very good at switching play when he notices defenders are shadowing to one side or another. Not only with short passes, but with medium and long passes, he has pinpoint passes to lead teammates into openings. His vision is so good that he can even find his teammates while he's taking on defenders one-on-one. -on -one. Most defenders will focus on that one-on-one -on -one tactic and not pay attention to the surroundings around them, but Lee Dong Jong is very good at keeping having an eye on his teammates and finding them despite trying to make a move one-on-one -on -one against the defender. Shooting-wise, one of his strengths is he does not hesitate to take a shot from distance. Li Dong Jong has a great left foot, not only for passing, but for shooting. Though he is left footed, he has a strong right footed shot. It must be said. So those are just some of the attributes of Li Dong Jong and what he will bring to Schalke. We've only got a glimmer of him uh, in one game for 30 minutes or so and it was a game that we were losing so it was really an unfair opportunity to take a look at what he can do but once he gets to the swing of what Schalke do and the Zweite Liga and 
hopefully the Bundesliga next year, what we'll see is a playmaker that we've been lacking this year to really help feed Bulter and Toroto up top and really help transition from defense to forward. It's an area where we've been struggling this year, and I think we saw very small glimpses of that uh, in the game against Dusseldorf, but I expect him, once he's up to speed with how we do things at Schalke, this will be a valuable asset going forward, leading to more goals. That's our take on Lee Dong Jong, the new signing for Schalke. What do you make of Lee Dong Jong? Uh, do you like the signing? Do you not like the signing? What do you think of his brief appearance in the Dusseldorf matchup? Let us know in the comments and uh, let us know if you think he is the playmaker we've been looking for, the number 10. Uh, and as always, if you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe on the page. Uh, very much appreciated. And as always, tune in for our watch alongs, which are usually uh, on the weekends. We'll do them, not during the week. Uh, and then our podcasts are usually every Monday night. So definitely check all that out. And we'll catch you on the next podcast or watch along or next video here. For Sam, I'm Richard Carmen. Glück auf.